Seattle approach. Hello, Cessna 80117 is on the ground at Auburn, uh, ready to copy IFR clearance to Hoquiam. Cessna 80117, Seattle approach. I have your request. I'll be right back with you in a moment. Copy. Cessna 80117, Seattle approach. Go ahead for 117. Yeah, Hacky 0117 approach from the Auburn Airport to the Hokeham Airport via the uh, BAMP 1 departure procedure. We had our vectors to Aero, Victor 27, Hokeham direct on departure between 3000, expect 6000, 5 minutes. Departure frequency will be 1190.2, walk 4664, hold for release. Okay, Cessna 80117 is clear from the Auburn Airport to Hoquiam via the VAMPS 1 departure, then radar vectors to Cairo, Victor 27, Hoquiam direct, climb and maintain 3000, expect 6000, departure frequency 119.2, squawk 4664, and we'll hold for release, 80117. Yeah, 117, read back to you, correct, and uh, are you ready to depart here this time? Yep, we're uh, ready to go. Skyhack 117, you are released to departure. Going forward to turn off in five minutes. Turn off in five minutes, the five minutes, and ten minutes immediately. Okay, uh, released for departure. If not off within five, uh, we'll call you back. Uh, 80117. So no approach, hello. Cessna 80117 is at uh, 1000, climbing 3000 direct vamps. Cessna 80117, sail departure, hit all summers 3003, ident. 3003 and ident, that's not 8017. So poke the transponder thing yep. and ident. Cessna 117 radar contact, four miles, uh, Christian, two miles east of the Auburn Airport. Position checks for 117. Okay, let's get the engine. Oh, well, that's one way to do it. Cessna 117, climb maintain 4,000. Climb and maintain 4,000, uh, Cessna 117. Here, my airplane in a second. Is that your airplane? Delta 758, turn left direct, Normy. Direct Normy, Delta okay. Uh Map is what you want. R2, I think 3, the map 98, is the problem. 3,000, climbing 7,000. And then display, maybe? Delta 398, tail departure radar contact, climb maintain 9,000. Oh. 9,000, Delta 398. Uh-huh. Where is... Oh, there we go. We got it. This thing is poked. Uh, you have to poke? That thing. Ah, got it. Advance correct. That's correct. Okay. Oh, and then we're going to go 4,000. 4, I reset this to be direct advance. 117, turn right, heading 180. 180, 117. Okay. okay. You ready? Yep. Okay. Your airplane. All right. We need to s reduce the rate of climb a little. Delta 758 traffic, 2 o'clock, 5 miles northwestbound, 1 2 descending, 1 0 thousand regional jet, higher past them. All right, we're looking Delta 758, we're IMC. Here we go. Ooh, not too much there. Yeah, the left rudder keeps getting you. I know. There, we got rid of the nasty scenery. Yeah. Oh yeah, the cylinders like the clouds. Ooh. Up draft. That's okay. We'll take it. Yeah. Departure, Horizon 2053, 2300, climbing 7000, mountain departure. Horizon 2053, sail to departure, radar contact, climbing 10 9000. Climbing 10 9000, Horizon 2053. Delta 758, traffic's no factor, climbing 10 15000. 15000, Delta 758. Delta 542, 9, or 3.4, climbing 7000. Delta 542, sail to departure, radar contact, climbing 10 15000, turn left, Earth, Normie. Up to 1-5000, direct Normandy, Delta 542. 
Oh, that's Clear pretty. 400, climbing chain 1, 2,000, turn left heading 0, 1, 0. Not that you get to look all that much, but... 1, 2,000, yeah. and again on the heading, see how it's uh, 3, 4, 300. Okay, 3, 400, uh, let's just make it heading 3, 4, 0, actually. Alright, heading 3, 4, 0, let's go with uh, 3, 400. I know there was freezing at about 7 to 8. I didn't want to go any higher than that. Well, we can go higher. If we get ice, we'll, we'll request lower. Heading 0, 6, 0. In many ways, getting a little bit of frost or ice is good because it teaches you the plane won't crash. It's like a vaccination. As long as the water keeps moving on the windscreen, you don't have ice. When it quits moving, then you have to worry. <laughs> a great tip. Seattle Center, hello, uh, Cessna 80117, uh, level 6000. Number 80117, Seattle Center, Roger, Hokeman Altimeter is 3008. Let me know when you've got the weather and the uh, type of approach requesting. Uh, we've got the weather and uh, we'd like the ILS 24, please. You forgot the mist, followed by. thanks. Will it be a full stop? Uh, what we'd like to do is uh, we'd like to. Followed by, we'll do a missed approach, and then follow that, we'll pick up our IFR clearance back to uh, Tacoma Narrows. Okay, number 80117, Roger, we'll plan on a uh, missed approach with a return to Tacoma Narrows. Okay, thanks a lot, uh, 80117. There you go. He prompted you. Yeah, it we'll works. Mr. King, November 2461, Mike, climbing out of 8,000. Shelton. For 10,000. Okay. Now it's ULIS, which lines up anyway. Yeah. Yeah, the only time you have to enter all those intermediate points is if you think you might get cleared to one of them. Or if it's a turn point. This is cool, like going through the cloud. Well, it is. I feel like a fighter pilot <laughs> <laughs> at 100 knots. It's the sensation of speed because we're right here. Yeah. Even a fighter pilot, if he's at 30,000 feet, doesn't feel like he's going very fast. Because there's no sensation of speed. That's why they all like those low-level routes. Yeah. November 80117, cleared ILS, runway 24 approach, Hokum Airport. We cleared ILS, runway 24 approach at Hokum Airport, uh, Sky 80117. So we can... We, we can't descend until, you, until we're on the approach. Which would be at ULIS? Yep. So we cross ULIS at 6. Alright. Number 1 out of Romeo Foxtrot, uh, Cessna 80117. You're looking to go uh, VFR on top, is that right? Affirmative. And you wanted to cruise at uh, 10,500? 11,500 is the appropriate uh, altitude for eastbound. Everyone on Roman Fox Rider, do have traffic there at 11,500. Can you maintain VFR on top at 10,500? Affirmative. Everyone on Roman Fox Rider, and you're on top of this time. Affirmative. Everyone on Roman Fox Rider, maintain VFR on top at uh, and maintain 10,500. Maintain 10,500 uh, VFR on top. Can we turn uh, eastbound now? Uh, where would you like to go direct to? See, that's the real question. Where do you want to go direct? Yeah. Uh, direct Yakima. Okay, number 19 Romeo Foxtrot, clear direct Yakima. Yakima, 19 Romeo Foxtrot, we can maintain our own terrain. Number 80117, radar service is terminated and free stage is approved. I'll talk to you on the missed approach. Okay, we'll talk to you on the missed approach, uh, 80117. Okay, we're inbound to Nettie when we flew through a cloud. I get to count this as mine. Nice. For my currency. Uh, Hope we have traffic Cessna 80117, four miles uh, inbound for 24, touch and go. Hope we have. Okay. Approaching minimums. Yep, you can just go visual. Okay. But it's good to cross check the runway on the approach like you were doing. Yep.
Now I need the right rudder. Hokum traffic, you're departing to the west. And then we'll switch back to the center. Alright. Hokum traffic, Cessna 80117 is off of 24, departing to the west. Hokum. So, Seattle Center, hello, Skyhawk 80117 at 1000 feet, climbing 2000. 500 on the missed approach at a Hoquiam. We're ready to copy I-4 clearance uh, to Tacoma. Number 80117, Seattle Center, welcome back. The Hoquiam altimeter 3008, your radar contact about two miles west of the airport, leaving 101,000. And I have your clearance back to Tacoma. Are you able to maintain your own train obstruction through 2,500? Affirmative. Uh, affirmative, uh, 117. Number 80117, Roger, maintain your train obstruction below 2,500, clear to the Tacoma Narrows Airport via as filed, maintain 5,000. Okay, so we're cleared, cleared to... Yeah, cleared to Tacoma as filed, maintain 5,000. Okay, we're cleared to the Tacoma Narrows Airport as filed, uh, we'll maintain 5,000, uh, Cessna 80117. That's direct, we, I filed it direct, so we can start turning that way now. So direct, what did you file? Just direct narrows, like literally. Oh, well, okay then. Uh, yeah, because let's see, I can pull it up. Well, no, I believe you. Well, I just, yeah, I'm going to. Oh. So remind me again about the maintain clearance separation phrase. Can you maintain your oh. obstacle clearance at oh. 2,500? Uh, can you maintain terrain and obstacle clearance? Yeah. Uh, up to minimum vectoring altitude. The answer has to be yes. Uh, otherwise, they can't help you. And you're literally, because they're not allowed to vector you below their minimum vectoring altitude. That's what it amounts to. Uh, Seattle approach, Cessna 80117 request. 80117, go ahead. Uh, just re request the ILS 17 at Tacoma, please. That'll be a full stop, 80117. We'll cancel with the tower. Uh, we'll cancel with the tower, 117. 0117, Roger. Turn, looks like 360, vector to final, set maintain 3000. 360 and 3000? 360. Left to uh, 360 down to 3000, 117. And also vector. 764, and you copy direct to the Oma, correct? Or 117, turn right at 150, join the localizer. Turn right 150 to join the localizer, Skyhawk 117. Does it switch to green needle? Okay. That's send. the question. Maybe after send. Or within a couple miles of send. Sure, That's probably. 17, you're free from send. You're cleared out. Let's throw away 17 approach. Maintain your maximum forward airspeed. Tell it dies. Okay, cleared for the ILS approach. 17, we'll go as fast as we can. Uh, 117. Well, we'll go maintain max forward airspeed. So, push the power up a little. There it goes, oh. it's green. And it was two miles. Okay. Or maybe it was two minutes. It was two minutes it switched. That works. Our 20668, uh, your radar contact, and are you wanting to hold for a while? Tacoma Tower, hello, Cessna 80117, is that about five and a half on the ILS 17. Request a touch and go, and a departure to the northeast. You forgot the VFR part. Oh, yeah. Cessna 80117, Tacoma Tower, continue approach. Yeah, continue approach, 80117, and uh, we're on an IFR, we'd like to cancel that with you after the touch and go. And the uh, rocket, what was your call sign? Uh, I'll step okay. on people. Just go ahead and fly. <laughs> Fine. Right, a 9 or ground. Oh, well, or hold, we, since uh, the glide the slope's coming in. Yep. Okay, so let's slow it down some. Otherwise, you'll float like crazy here, too. Okay. 
and keep fighting with it. Okay, I'd go idle. Cobra Towers, Skyhawk, 707 Papa. Oh, five mile final, full stop. 707 Papa, Cobra Tower, 917 for the land. 707 Papa, clear to land. Wow. Just be patient. Got lots of room. Okay. Okay. So when you call them, you like to cancel and depart to the northeast. All right. yeah, Tacoma Towers, uh, Sky Eight Zero One One Seven, like to cancel an IFR and depart to the northeast. So Eight Zero One Seven, Tacoma Tower, drop our cancellation receipt. Squawk and maintain VFR northeast departure approved. Okay, Squawk VFR, Northeast Departure Proof. Thanks for your help today, uh, 8017. Oh. Okay. Auburn Traffic, that's not 8017. It's turning final for 17, full stop, Bob. So if you aren't going to use flaps, do a slip. Or both. Let's yeah, dump this down here. Oh, you got 40 in. Six, that's not 465, Echo. Right big way, 17, full stop, Bob. Oh, he's a full stop, too. That's all right. We got it. Or is he? Oh, behind us is. Yeah, yeah he's behind us. And the guy ahead of us is airborne. Good. I bet the wind reporting thing is sheltered by all these buildings. Yeah. Raising your flaps. Thank you. Do high speed here to get out of the way. You're good. He's still 400 feet according to this display. Then dive away from the wind. Auburn traffic, Skyhawk 8017 sends clear of 17, Auburn. Okay, after landing checklist. So... Traffic saw 2 9 Lima turning and right saw okay. crossland 17, Auburn. Okay, cool. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. Thanks. I feel bad now that the, my guy bumped his appointment back. That's okay. She had to leave at work early to uh, make four o'clock, so now she can work her normal hours. I didn't want to. <laughs> well, I didn't say she couldn't leave work early and go to a coffee shop. True. Okay.